Okay, so Snoop Dogg is pissed at Kanye West and just told him, you know, make music great again. And then, you know, he called him some other, you know, derogatory terms. I don't blame him. You know, uh, we all know that Kanye West is doing this for attention, talking about he doesn't even know what he's talking about. You know how I know that? When TMZ asked him, what would you like to amend about the 13th Amendment? Um, He said, I don't know. T.I. chimed in, but what T.I. was saying didn't, it kind of made sense, but they already abolished um, chain gangs and like forced labor from prisoners, all prisoners. So, you know, it's just, I don't know. Let's, let's just break it down right now. This is George Tower JT News. Hit that bell, hit that subscribe button. And uh, if you want to hit that thumbs up, hit the thumbs up. We're just having a conversation about this whole Kanye thing. I mean, Kanye is bringing up something that didn't need to be, uh, I mean, I guess it need prison reform needs to happen, but I don't think this is prison reform. I think he has it wrong here. Okay. Prison reform needs to happen because they're sending people to jail for small crimes doing hard time. Okay. So if you get arrested for selling weed or drugs, You get more time sometimes than someone who killed somebody, you know? Uh, What about police force? You know, Eric Gardner, Tamir Rice, all these people, man. You know, uh, cops shouldn't be scared of the citizens. And that's what's obviously happening, and they get away with murder, okay? So, uh, T.I. chimed in. Man, well... It was an excellent point just raised on our travels uh, throughout the day. Now, while I disagree with most of the shit that Kanye says in his ranks, I must say that the part about trying to amend or abolish the 13th Amendment, I actually agree with. And not because I think that slavery should be instilled. No, because the 13th Amendment also says slavery is abolished unless in prison. Now, slavery is abolished unless in prison. That means that it incentivizes mass incarceration and it also increases the amount of scrutiny put on us and the laws that affect us differently than they affect white people. So I do see where he was going. I think it was horribly worded. And I think if you... Okay, I think what T.I. meant to say, he wants prison reform. Okay, that would make sense. Yes. Uh, As you can see, chain gangs had abolished convict leasing and all that was done in 1930s. In the 1950s, it was abolished in every state a um, hundred years after the end of the Civil War. Okay. Now, chain gangs were gone. That was like, that's like slavery. Okay. Uh, now, slavery isn't held just to a color of black people. Uh, you know, there's Jew- they, Jewish people were enslaved in Germany in a way. Okay. Uh, people were enslaved all over the world of different races, okay? Yes, it hasn't happened here in America with white people, I agree, but it did happen with Chinese people. They built the railroads in a way. Okay, so that was kind of slavery in itself as well. Um, But yes, it does need reform, but abolishing the 13th Amendment would mean slavery would be back, okay? You want to amend it again, uh, but I don't think it. this needs to be amended. It has to be laws that have to be amended. Okay, it says neither slavery nor involuntary servitude except as punishment for a crime where have parties shall have been duly convicted, meaning they had a trial and they were convicted, shall exist within the United States or any place subject to their jurisdiction. Congress shall have power to enforce this article by appropriate legislation. They might need another section, a section three, another amendment to this uh and we don't know the answer, but it's a good conversation. But I think T.I. and Kanye both are off with this one. The conversation is prison reform. Yes. Okay. Anyways, guys, appreciate you guys. It's Jordan Tower with JT News. Hit that bell. Hit the subscribe button. I'll check you guys later.